coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Starship's stunning fifth test flight aces its impossible mission. 2025 National Championship Air Race dates announced. Experimental category accidents down in fiscal year 2024. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Starship's stunning fifth test flight aces its impossible mission. It was one of the most stunning sights in all of aerospace, the capture of a rapidly descending booster in two large Mechazilla arms at the conclusion of Sunday's fifth test flight of the SpaceX Starship main booster. Starship's fifth test flight lifted off on October 13th with the most ambitious test objectives yet for the program, with a launch weight in excess of 11 million pounds. Following a successful liftoff, ascent, stage separation, boost back burn, and coast, the Super Heavy booster performed its landing burn and was caught by the chopstick arms of the launch and catch tower at Starbase. Thousands of distinct vehicle and pad criteria reportedly had to be met prior to the catch attempt. And thanks to the extraordinary work of SpaceX engineers, they succeeded with a catch on their first attempt, a mind-blowing sight that rates as one of the most impressive feats in aerospace history. Prior to the catch, Starship executed another successful hot staging separation, igniting six Raptor engines and completing its ascent into space. It coasted along a pre-planned trajectory to the other side of the planet before executing a controlled re-entry, passing through the phases of peak heating and maximum aerodynamic pressure, before executing a flip, landing burn, and splashdown at its target area in the Indian Ocean. The flight test concluded at splashdown one hour, five minutes, and 40 seconds after launch, and with inside of a pre-positioned observation buoy right on target. After the break, Aviation Coalition calls for more supply chain scrutiny. Over 30 years, the Massive Sport Plane Resource Guide has provided expert, credible information, evaluations, and critical analysis of all that the sport aviation world has to offer. The all-new Digital Sport Plane Resource Guide is coming with extensive multimedia features that are constantly updated, an even more comprehensive online guide to all things sport aviation. Available soon. www.sportplane.com There's a lot of places I get to at the end of the runway or in turnarounds that I need an engine running. So for me, it's very important to have a product that I'm absolutely confident with. I am very confident with the Trailblazer propeller. And when I'm flying air shows, I know that propeller's gonna be right for me. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Aviation Coalition calls for more supply chain scrutiny. The Aviation Supply Chain Integrity Coalition has released a report that calls for actions manufacturers in the aerospace industry should take to prevent unapproved parts from entering the supply chain in the propulsion system segment. The recommendations of the coalition fall into three categories, stronger vendor accreditation, document and signature digitization, and improving the traceability of parts. Each category specifies actions to implement over short, medium, and long-term timeframes. Third Annual DPE Symposium to be held as scheduled. The Flight School Association of North America has confirmed that the third annual DPE Symposium will be held as originally scheduled on Wednesday and Thursday, October 23rd through 24th at the Rosen Plaza Hotel in Orlando. While the organization expresses their sorrow about the destruction caused by Hurricane Milton and pray for everyone's safety, the hotel and FSANA teams have been in constant contact with each other and have determined that the Orlando region was mostly spared from the damaging effects of the storm. Microsoft Flight Sim gets a stole upgrade. 
Microsoft Flight Simulator developers have confirmed that the 2024 launch will include several updates to the virtual short takeoff and landing world. This features at least one new single engine aircraft with a completely customizable design. Stoll competitions first sprung to the stage in 2020 with the National Stoll Series. Amateur and professional pilots participate in nationwide events, including 10 qualifying matches each year. The next competition this year will be held at Music City Executive Airport in Gallatin, Tennessee, before moving to the 2024 finals in Sulphur Springs, Texas. Air Canada Pilots Ratify Contract Agreement Air Canada Pilots have ratified a collective bargaining agreement that includes a new four-year contract with significant improvements to their compensation as well as quality of life. Of the 99% of all eligible pilots who voted, 67% voted in favor of the agreement, demonstrating to airline management the importance of recognizing the expertise and value that pilots bring to the carrier. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. 2025 National Championship Air Race Dates Announced The dates have been announced for the 2025 National Championship Air Races in Roswell, New Mexico. They will be held beginning Wednesday, September 10th through Sunday, September 14th, and all seven classes of aircraft will be competing. After announcing the selection of Roswell as the race's next location, organizers have visited several times to meet with airport staff, emergency services, city officials, and others. New course layouts have been designed and a contract for grandstand construction has been secured. Organizers have also created new partnerships with the local community and have reviewed safety procedures. Air race pilots will be expected to fly the proposed course in the coming months before the Pylon Racing Seminar is held in Roswell in May 2025. Tony Logotetta, President and Chief Operating Officer of the Reno Air Racing Association, said, quote, We are incredibly excited as an organization for this monumental step in air racing history as we begin to execute our plan for the 2025 National Championship Air Races. Since we wrapped our 60th anniversary air show, we're invigorated by the fact that we're hosting the air races in a brand new venue in Roswell. It's going to be amazing to see this iconic event put on again and see our September family." End quote. After these messages, experimental category accidents down in fiscal 2024. The legendary BD4C program is building an exciting future for those who want a rugged four-seat family flyer with a proven history. The Surewings program produces a complete kit and builder assist program that gives you everything you need to be flying a BD4CS in record time. For conventional kit builders, BD Aviation has parts, partial kits, and full kits for the 190 mile per hour BD4C that has logged thousands of hours. Visit Surewings.com and BDAviation.com for more details. Hello, pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Looking for a new generation of proven and efficient aviation power plants that boast modern engineering, electronic ignition, and both direct and gear drive systems? With 100 horsepower to 240 horsepower, the Skyline and Redline engines offer uncommon value in an overpriced industry. Whether you are looking for fixed wing or rotor, MW Fly Americas has been established to service the American market with dedication and expertise. MWFlyAmericas.com. Welcome back. Experimental category accidents down in fiscal 2024. EAA reports that for the FAA's fiscal year, which ended September 30th, 2024, preliminary accident totals in the experimental category were below the agency's goal, marking an excellent safety record for the year. 
The FAA had set a not-to-exceed goal of 46 accidents, and although the total is not yet finalized, the initial number of 37 accidents is well below that. Of those, 29 involved fatal injuries in home-built aircraft. The final tally will be made available in a few weeks, but the number still reflects a much-improved year for safety, despite an increase in the total number of flight hours. The EAA and FAA's Office of Accident Investigation and Prevention worked together in a collaborative effort to track fatal experimental aircraft accidents through the fiscal year. The FAA sets a not-to-exceed number based on a 1% reduction in the previous three-year average accident totals. The goal is a 10% reduction in 10 years, beginning in fiscal 2011. Monthly totals are also tracked as flying hours vary from month to month. Long-standing EAA programs that are focused on safety include the Technical Counselor and Flight Advisory Programs. The group also publishes its EAA Flight Test Manual that is about to be updated in its second edition. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.